Oh, got him. That was a hard thump right there. By the feel of it, that is a redfish. There goes the drag. That's gotta be a red. He bit just like a redfish and he's taking me all over the place. How deep is it? One and a half foot deep. We can stake out right here. I didn't see it. I'm over here paying attention to my stake out pole. Yep, that's a, gosh darn, that's a mud chicken. Let's grab the ego net and uh, let's tend to this fella. Stuck him at the top of the mouth. Yeah, so if y'all would have seen what we went through earlier today, sorry I didn't do a proper intro with the big camera, but everything that we have went through so far, it's just been a bunch of buffoonery. Let's get this done. You want to settle down? All right. I'm going to say let's get this guy. Um, it has just been horrible. High waters, super fast moving current coming in right now. Dude, my God, he's not ready to give it up yet. Okay, you know what? Let's grab the boga. I'm grateful to catch this fella, considering the late start that we got and everything else. I'll, I'll talk to y'all about it as soon as we get this guy back, released safely back inside the water. I'm gonna hurry up and do that. Give him the best possible chance to survive. Here we go. I'm not taking a photo, but we will put you to the forward facing or rearward, rear, God, I can't even say that, rearward facing camera. Gorgeous redfish right there, mud chicken. He's probably 19 inches. He's just very long and skinny. All righty, let's get this guy back in the water. Okay, buddy, thank you so much for hanging out for a few seconds. All right, so where were we? Uh, the buffoonery that has been going on today. So this was the intended spot to come fishing. Myself, my boy Nick, RX Angler, he's off in the distance. Y'all can probably see him way over there. Uh, we're supposed to start out fishing here. I got to the ramp and I heard gunshots from the bird hunters and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I want to fish that area. So I decide to get on the internet and try to look up the like hunting dates and the fishing dates. Well, I got confused and there's two actual protected areas out here. You got the wildlife, the National Wildlife Refuge which is run by the federal government. And then you have the wildlife management area, which is run by the state. And the section that's run by the state, there's certain days that you can fish and you can't fish. So I started trying to look that up, couldn't find anything on it, tried calling them up and couldn't get in touch with anybody else. I did call the wildlife, the national wildlife, like preserve or reserve, whatever it's called. And I got in touch with those guys and they're like, no, you can fish all year round as well as during like bird waterfowl hunting season, they can hunt as well inside the same water. And he's like, I don't recommend you doing it. So that's the buffoonery that took place. Um, decided to drive to Freeport, hit one of the marshes over there close to Surfside. And the water was the highest that I've ever seen it before. Uh, like I kid you not, it was up like where the beach houses are, the streets, the roads that get you there, the streets were covered with water. You couldn't literally see the streets at all. The boat ramp was underwater and I'm like, there's no way we're gonna catch fish over here. It's been my experience in very high like tides. I've traditionally, I have not done well. So we drove all the way back over here and the red fish right there just makes it worth it all because I had a very grim outlook to the conditions and my possibility or my my chances for catching a redfish. So, uh, yeah, let's see what else we can get. Maybe we'll get a keeper. Or two. I was like, dude, something is gonna get you, bro. <laughs> like, I'm glad it's you, not me. 
<laughs> I'm like, Shh. all I got to do is just put my kung fu fingers to work on this damn remote and get the out of here. There we go. Oh, beautiful mud chicken. Mud chicken today. Buddy, ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you. They do think you're cute, but they're not going to feel sorry for you. That's the like whole purpose of this show is to put you guys up on the boat and in the camera's face. Oh my gosh, let it go. Look at that gorgeous little fella that blue tail right there not bad not bad at all hey Nick how many fish have you caught <laughs> there we go I'm hoping that this is a donkey. He's pulling like one, but then again, the one that we did earlier, this guy is pulling way harder. I got a different setup and the drag is cinched down a lot tighter. He's a little bit bigger. Stay away from that motor, buddy. Let's grab the Ego. This guy's about to give it up. Come on, buddy. Oh my God, that is a donkey. Oh, bro, this is a stud. He got the lens all wet. Let's tend to this donkey. Man, lens is all wet. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me try to hurry up. Buddy, I'm gonna need you to chill out while we clean these camera lenses. It's because, okay. You, you know what? I have a mind to keep you. I'm telling you what, day like this, one fish, I will keep you and cook you. What do you say about that? All right. Oh my gosh. Let's get this redfish back in the water. We have to exploit him though because he's the only one that we caught all day long. The only keeper that is. Yeah, go ahead, keep on. You're gonna prolong your misery, bud. All right, so, got him on a paddle tail. That's the Slayer Ink. Let's get it out. Really good hook set. Nice bite. So if y'all remember in the last video, I was like, where did my forceps go? Um, watching the the video itself as we were editing the net grabbed the forceps and threw them in the water check this out though that is a gorgeous stud redfish right there just perfect oh my gosh thank goodness we did not get skunked Let him catch his breath really fast while I clean this other lens. All right, we've let this guy catch his breath and uh, I'm not too sure how big he is. Let's do the do and measure him really fast. That wind is atrocious. So is the current that's coming through. It's very high. My guess is he's about 23 inches, somewhere around there. So there we go, nose right there 23 and three quarters of an inch that is a great stud mud donkey oh my gosh i'm telling y'all what we get super lucky in being able to consistently catch fish i am grateful for it because it wouldn't be much of a show without all the luck that i have let's let this fella go turn the camera right there hopefully y'all are going to get that view but here we go Oh my gosh, slap the water. So yeah, uh, it wouldn't be much of a show if we weren't able to catch those guys. And the kind of day it's been, normally I would keep at least one fish because if you're not catching anything, I mean, we've got a 
produce something for y'all to watch and I would do like cook them up but I had no intention on actually cooking any fish today so yeah that guy looked at me he gave me the look little pouty face like please just let me go right there Slayer Inc never would have tried these had you not given me the money to purchase them because I just I'm a creature of habit and I use the lures that I always use they seem to work but just goes to show that just about anything that's out there will work ah oh, what a lucky day There's a thump, look at that. That's gotta be a flounder. Oh yes, that is the flounder. Oh my gosh, yes. And we went from zero to hero, <laughs> guys, just like that. Oh my goodness, that is a keeper flounder too. Oh, wow. And we are recording, but guess what? The lens is wet yet again. All right, so let's aim that one a little bit down. Hopefully, y'all can see this. Here, I'm gonna do this. Let's uh, let's clean this lens off really fast. There we go. Got that lens clean, ladies and gentlemen. Let's drop a mark for the patrons. Let's get the turn the head so that doesn't get our lens wet again that is about a 16 and a half inch flounder right there hold on buddy he's got a mouth full of curl tail grub too gosh buddy you got them aggression issues look at this let's see look at that Tell me he ain't got a mouthful of that bugs fishing lure right there. Both cameras right there. Black and gold curl tail grub. It's the uh, second generation redfish jig is what bugs fishing calls it. There we go. Now we're gonna get the measurement. Let's put the ego fishing net back up. It's a phenomenal net right there. And here we go for the final measurement. Let's see. Mouth right there. Okay, close that mouth, buddy. Okay, right there. Oh, wow. This is a 17, 17 and a half inch flounder. I'm trying to freaking short my short change myself for the uh the size of it oh wow that is two fish all we need is a keeper speckled trout and we got a traditional slam this guy wow just completely beside myself on how a day can go from you know i'm not gonna say really bad but i mean it started out i mean it started out bad trying to decide if I want to keep them or not man oh man yeah I'm gonna let this guy go you get a, a get out of jail free card bud I'm gonna let him catch his breath take a few photos and then we're gonna set him free all right isn't that a gorgeous fish 
like I said, we are probably the luckiest ever. And it's time to let him go. All right, buddy. He's gonna keep living the good life. Oh, that's one. Not that time, buddy. Oh, oh, oh double up. Kill the motor. Bro. I I think he's he's got the uh he's got the current with him. He's pulling drag though. All right. Let's see. We got a double up. Nick already landed his, but this guy went straight out into the he went he went straight out into the river and started taking drag. The current is moving really strong. Oh my gosh. I'm going to die if this is a hard head, bro. Well, he did a big old tail thrust. I think it's another donkey, baby. Oh my gosh, yes, that is a donkey. Oh, wow. I hope we have a good hook set. Where is this dude going? Okay, I'm going to hit spot lock. Don't make me regret it, buddy. Stay away from that motor. Oh my gosh. This dude is not giving up. There he is right there. Oh my God, this, we're gonna need the ego. Look at this stud. <laughs> Have y'all ever high sticked a fishing rod so bad to the point where you think that you're gonna break it? Look at this butterball. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy moly. This is a fat one. We go. Now look at that butterball right there. He's got that bug's curl tail in his mouth. Got hit at the same exact time. I was like, oh wow, didn't feel the thump. He just basically took it in. And then next thing you know, I hear Nick right next to me saying, oh wow, two absolute stud redfish. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, let's get this lure out of his mouth. There we go. Put that down right there. Turn the camera, get this release, get the fishing line out of our way. And there we go, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, wowzers. Stud redfish again on that curl tail bug right there. Look at that. That thing is beat up. Look like a plucked chicken, except uh, this is rabbit fur. Oh my gosh, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Look at that. Look what we got back there. That is a mullet stinking up the back of the boat. Hey, settle down. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so crazy. I don't know how many of y'all have ever been hit by a mullet. I gotta get that stink butt out of here. I was over here trying to make a post on Patreon and this dude... Look at that. <laughs> Man, you gotta warn somebody when you're gonna poop all over yourself, dude. I just, I touched it straight with my hand, nasty. That's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm telling y'all what, what a very, very tough day. I mean, it doesn't, it probably doesn't seem as such by watching the video, but if you could have just been a fly on the window in my truck as the day unfolded, at the very beginning of it, I didn't uh, think that we were gonna do good at all. Uh, we have very uncharacteristic high levels 
in the marsh right now, the water is probably a foot and a half to maybe two foot higher than usual. And in my three years of experience, I've, I haven't seen it like this in the uh, like September time frame. So that was like another wrench thrown into the plan or into the machine. I don't know, I forgot what the adage is, but anyhow, um, I count my blessings for being able to string together the two caches that I did. It was just purely luck because I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. But I am definitely grateful for each and every one of y'all clicking on today's video and tagging along for the adventure. I appreciate it so much. Um, like, I, there's really no way for me to convey how sincerely uh, thankful I am for y'all because without that type of support I wouldn't be able to do what it is that I'm doing out here right now and on tough days like this man I really need that so drop your comments down below let me know what you think as far as these high water levels have for those of y'all that have been fishing longer than me maybe you're like hey uh, ever so often you know every few years it's gonna happen but uh, it's getting written down in the notes and I will learn from it I'm going to go home, lick my wounds, and uh, more than likely come right back out again tomorrow. So again, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I truly and sincerely love each and every one of y'all for the support that y'all show. And uh, until next time, tight lines.